Hello and welcome to FL Studio video tutorial on creating songs in the playlist editor. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create arrangements from your FL loops and audio. Let's load up a playlist from an existing song and have a look at it. The playlist window contains a sequence of patterns and audio, as well as clip tracks that will form the complete song structure. The horizontal dimension in the playlist represents time. You can see the timeline displayed at the top of the playlist window. The numbers in the timeline stand for the numbers of bars since the beginning of the song. You can add name time markers into the timeline, which help mark specific sections of your song, and allows a quick selection of a region between two markers. To add a new time marker, open the playlist menu, and select Add Time Marker. Type a name for your marker, and hit enter. The new marker will appear at the start of the timeline, and you can move it to any position by dragging its left edge with your left mouse button. When putting together a song, you'll often need to select objects in the playlist. You can do this by using the select tool, and drag around an area in the playlist window. You can add to your selection by holding down shift and control while making your rectangular selection. You can also select a set of pattern tracks while holding down the control button and dragging up or down inside the pattern name area to the left side of your screen. Alternatively, you may want to select a time region, which you can do by holding down control and then dragging left or right in the timeline area. The playlist menu holds many useful commands for managing the playlist. Many of the standard editing commands such as cut, copy and paste are available to act upon your selection, as well as more musical editing options such as quantization. The patterns menu allows you to edit individual patterns in detail. For example, to clone a selected pattern, or to merge it with another selected pattern. The View menu contains the Grid Color command. That'll open a dialog box which allows you to choose a color for the playlist grid. The Zoom menu contains a quick set of zooming levels to assist you in quickly navigating your composition. And Live Mode turns on or off the Live Mode feature of the playlist. In Live Mode, you can see an on or off switch next to the pattern name of each track, which enables you to quickly turn on or off a playing pattern without having to draw a fixed sequence of bars. As the name suggests, this feature is primarily used for live performances and or testing various arrangements on the fly. Finally, if I zoom in a little, The center command will center the playlist grid so that the plain position marker will appear in the middle. This is useful if you wish to see the plain position in a long sequence. Well, that's about it. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and that you now feel comfortable to use the playlist to create your own songs in FL Studio. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention and have fun with FL Studio.